Have you ever had a dream that you couldn't breathe? Or have you had a dream that you didn't know where you were or how you got there? Well, let's talk about seven dreams you should never ignore. There are different categories of dreams. Some dreams carry a positive message while others are negative. And then there are dreams that are bizarre and unusual, but can have a significant meaning to the life of the dreamer. So in this video, I'm going to talk about seven dreams you should never ignore. Number one, you can't talk or scream. This type of dream can have different meanings. It could mean that the dreamer is experiencing a stressful season in their life and they're finding it hard to express how they're feeling. Also, if you dream that you're trying to talk to someone but the words are not coming out, this would be showing that you feel like you're not being heard by that person. You may feel like your feelings and opinions are being overlooked and undervalued. This kind of dream can also be pointing to the enemy's attempt to silence your voice, particularly if you are in ministry or if you use your voice to help others. And it could also be exposing the enemy's plans to disrupt and stop your prayer life. Number two, you're unrecognizable. So in the dream, you are with family or friends, but no one knows who you are. They don't recognize you at all, even if you try to convince them of who you are. Have you ever had a dream like that? Well, one of the things it could mean is that you may feel overlooked or ignored by those close to you. You may even feel like an outcast in your family due to past negative issues that took place in your life. Another meaning is that you feel as if you've lost touch or are losing connection with someone close to you. This is similar to having a dream where you're talking on the phone to someone and the call suddenly drops. It could also be speaking of a personal transformation where they no longer recognize who you are and who God has called you to be. So in that case, it would be positive. This is what took place with Joseph. Genesis 42, 8 says, and Joseph knew his brothers, but they did not recognize him. Joseph was put in a position of authority due to his ability to interpret dreams, which made him unrecognizable to his brothers. This type of dream could also be speaking of self-esteem and rejection issues that the dreamer has, and God wants to bring healing. Number three, you're trapped. So in the dream, you're trapped in a certain place and you can't get out. There may not be any doors or windows. It could be a scenario of being in a room, a cage, or being trapped underground. It could also be a scenario where you're locked in somewhere. You're locked in a room or you're locked in a car. This would be speaking of feeling trapped in life where you feel frustrated and hopeless and that there is no way out of your current situation. You may feel like you can't move forward in life or that something is preventing you from obtaining or achieving your goals. If you have this type of dream, you should pray and ask God to send solutions to the problems and to show you how to overcome obstacles and barriers that may be hindering your progress. Number four, you're paralyzed. Now this is different from sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is when you feel like you're awake and something is holding you down. You're pinned to the bed. But in this type of dream, you can't walk or you can't move at all. Try as you might, you just can't seem to get your legs to move. This type of dream can be showing that you may feel powerless in your life and it could mean that you feel as if you have no control over how your life is currently going. It could also mean that you're being paralyzed by fear or anxiety, which can immobilize or restrict the purposes of God for your life. This could also be speaking of the enemy's intentions toward you. In 1 Thessalonians 2.18, Paul said, For we wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and again, but Satan hindered us. So if you have this type of dream, pray against the enemy's plans to stop you from walking in your life's purpose. Number five, you can't breathe. 
in this type of dream scenario, you're struggling to breathe. You just can't seem to catch your breath. This type of dream can mean a few things. It could be speaking of fear or anxiety that the dreamer is experiencing and it's playing out in the dream that they can't breathe. It could also be showing that the dreamer feels stressed and overwhelmed with life. Perhaps the dreamer has taken on too many responsibilities and feels emotionally swamped. A man once had a dream that he couldn't breathe and it turned out it was due to anxiety and pressure that he faced in finding a new job in order to take care of his family. This is why Peter encouraged us when he said, having cast all your anxiety on him because he cares about you. Another reason for having a dream where you can't breathe is a demonic attack. The enemy desires to cut off God's plans and purposes for your life. This type of dream can be revealing a demonic attack against your destiny and life's calling. So again, if you have this type of dream, you would pray against it and bind and shut down the plans of the enemy concerning your life. Number six, losing control of your car. Now a car in a dream can represent your life's journey. It can represent your ministry. So this type of dream can be quite scary, but this dream would be showing that the dreamer may feel uncertain or unable to manage or control certain issues that are taking place in their life. It could also mean that they may be having difficulty handling a big or a new responsibility. Someone I know once had a dream that the car they were driving suddenly started spinning out of control. When it came to a stop, it turned into a chair. God was showing in the dream that although it seemed as if they've lost control of things in their life, God was going to bring them to a place of rest. Now, if you dream that something causes your car to spin out of control, for instance, if something suddenly appears in the road and you veer to avoid hitting it and you lose control of the car, this could be pointing to a spirit of sabotage. It could be revealing a demonic spirit attempting to get you off course and out of the will of God. Number seven, you don't know where you are. Now, this is a bit different from being totally lost in a dream. In this dream scenario, you may be walking or driving, and at first you're aware of where you're headed, but then all of a sudden you don't know where you are. Nothing looks familiar at all. This could be showing that you're losing sight of your life's purpose or forgetting what God has called you to do. It could also be pointing to losing sight of a particular life goal. This can happen through distractions or focusing on things that have caused you to become emotionally sidetracked. It could also be symbolic of the fact that your life's path is not clearly defined. You have no clarity as to what direction to take concerning something in particular. This type of dream could also be speaking of mind binding spirits that have attacked your mental or emotional state. First Peter 1 13 says, therefore prepare your minds for action. Keep sober in spirit, set your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Hey, have you picked up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams yet? In this book, I go more in depth about dreams and dream interpretation than I do on my YouTube videos. I talk about the depth dimension of dreams, dream layers. I talk about the time dimension of a dream. Also dreams and the imagination, which is quite interesting. I also have put over 40 real life, actual dreams that people have dreamt in the book for you to practice your interpretation skills. Also in the back of the book is a dream dictionary with over 400 dream symbols. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go and pick up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams today. Have you had any of these types of dreams? You know, I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to you all next time. Mm -hmm.